Hello, my name is Maria Miller from MathMamoto.com. In this video we're going to look at the concept of an angle. And I know I wrote on the board lines, rays and angles, but we're really going to mostly concentrate on the concept of an angle. But let's start, what is a line? In geometry, a line is like you see a line, but it continues in both direction, directions until infinity, basically. There is no end point, no starting point for a line. And the line segment has an end point and starting point. You can mark them like this or not mark them. Either way. But line segment starts and ends. Okay? Whereas line does not and we can show it with these arrows at each end. And then an important concept for angles sake is the concept of an array. Array has a starting point but no ending point. So it starts somewhere and then goes indefinitely into this direction over there. And, if it helps you, you can think of a sun, of the sun, as if here was a sun here, shining, and sun's rays start at the sun. They have a starting point, but they go on and on and on, like that. Or this way, it would continue that way. And, an angle consists of two rays that have the same starting point. Two rays, the same starting point. That starting point is called the vertex of the angle. And the rays are often called the sides of an angle. So here is an angle. The two rays together form an angle. And both rays will go on forever like that. But of course I cannot draw them like that. We have to just draw them certain ways and then put these little arrows there. Okay? So here's another example of an angle. Two rays starting at this point. Oh, here's an angle too. Two rays starting at this point. And look, this one wasn't even drawn as long as this one, but that doesn't matter. It is still an angle, okay? Whether I draw my ray this far or this far, whatever, it still is an angle. Now let's look at some certain kinds of angles here. And I like to visualize angles with two pencils or two something, like this. Here is my zero angle, the angle where both rays are basically the same ray, okay? And then, if you imagine these two being the rays starting at the same point, let's say that I open up my angle a little bit. Okay, and here's a little angle, so to speak. This one here. Then I can open it some more. Open the angle a little bigger. And imagine that the end of this is tracing a circle. Okay, just like here. As it is opening, it traces a circle. Okay, and here the angle is opened up some more. And if I open it up this much, I have a right angle. Okay, here. It's basically half of a half circle. The angle has opened half of a half circle. I can open it up some more now. Okay, first to the right angle, then some more. And then I can open it up to this point, which is a straight angle. And then this would have drawn a half circle here. And then it can go on even more. More than a half a circle. And it can go all the way back to here when it would have traced a whole circle. Okay? And all those would be angles. Different size angles. And that is how we actually measure how big an angle is. How big is the angle means how much has it opened. If you start here and you start opening the angle, this ray will move up like this. How much does it open is how much, how big it is. So, when we compare these two angles here, we do not compare how long the sides are. These are the rays. This time they are drawn without the little arrows here, but you still imagine them continuing indefinitely here. Okay? And we instead measure them how much the angle has opened. If I put these two here and open it like that, this is how much it opened. Or here, that's how much it opened, or how little it opened. This is the smaller angle, because it hasn't opened as much as what this one has opened. Can you see it? Oftentimes people also mark the little this circle here, the arc of a circle, in the angle. But instead of marking it here, they often mark it somewhere here, with a little arc of a circle. It is this reminding you that there is a circle involved that gets traced as you draw the angle. Okay? You would have it here, like that. Here, these two angles. Which one is bigger? Can you see? You have to compare which one has opened more. This one has opened this much. 
Okay, clearly this is a smaller angle. Oh, here, again, don't look at the sides of the angle, these rays. Don't look at the, their length or anything. You have to look at how much has it opened. Oh, you can imagine yourself sitting here as if these were walls of a house and this made a corner. How much space do you have here in this corner or in this corner? So you have more space in this corner, so this is the bigger angle, right? Now, here is a triangle, which means it has three angles. Triangle, right? Three angles. And here's the first angle. Here's the second angle, and then the third angle here. And uh, let's say we want to know which angle is the greatest, the biggest angle. Would it be this angle here, or this, or this? And it might be hard to tell from this picture. So we do need a better way to tell. And we can indeed measure angles with degrees, but that is going to be a topic of another video. It's how to actually measure angles accurately and know for sure which angle is bigger, this one or this one or this one.